Hello, it's me, Markel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter, M-A-R-Q-U-E-L-W-O-R-L-D, Markel's World. Anyways, it's me, Markel, and I'm talking about being a ramp agent. Recently, I have a lot of jobs. I always have jobs. If I don't like a job, I usually quit, but I like to give a job a chance before I quit. So I was a ramp agent at the airport. I live 10 minutes away from the airport, you could say. Ramp agent, you know, I applied. I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to be at the desk. I take people's luggage and I put on the ramp. Next customer, put on the ramp. Next customer, I'm going to get paid maybe $14 an hour. That's what I thought a ramp agent was. It was far from it. So I worked for this company. I, I might as well even say who it is. It's called Simplicity. I worked for this company called Simplicity and, um, it was it was oh it was an okay job. I'm not about to bash them because I don't like to bash people. But the company, um ramp agent, there's a lot of pros and there's a lot of negatives. Pros if you like to be busy, if you like to lift things, if you like to lose weight, this is a pro for you because you would be doing a lot of lifting, you would be doing a lot of moving, so that's a pro. The cons was a lot of scheduling conflicts. Um, you had to do a lot of work for a little pay, and it was just a lot of pressure. You know, a lot of people watching you. Come on, come on, come on. They're watching you through cameras. It's just a lot of pressure. So, um, whatever ramp agent does, um, you tell the pilot when he can come in. So, when the plane's coming, you're over here walking him to his parking space. When a plane's leaving to go, you're telling him he can leave. You're adjusting the plane as well. You would, There's buttons on the side of the plane. You would adjust the plane to the right level so it can take off. So you would adjust adjust the plane. Um, what else would you do? You would, um, at the side of the um, planes, that's where the luggage is. You would open the, the door. All the luggage would be there. You would pull all the luggage out of the door. Then you would go to the terminals where the customers are and you would give the luggage to the customers. Because a lot of these people have pink tags, which pink tags meant they were going to uh, another flight um, another flight later that day. So they need their luggage right away. So you would get the luggage off the plane. Then you would walk up a couple stairs to go to the terminal. And then you would hand the customers their luggage. Um, what else did they have you doing? They had you um, working on the planes. If it if there wasn't a lot of water, enough water, you would have to like fill up the the plane with water. So what you would do is you would open some thing, you would open some doors on the side of the plane, and then you would connect the water hose to it, and you would fill up the plane with water. You would check if if everything was okay with the plane. So it was a lot for a little pay. They weren't really paying that much. I would say they weren't paying that much for. What you were doing, you were in hot weather, you were wearing steel-toed shoes. It wasn't really a lot, and it was like a lot of pressure because people were watching you. You had a deadline, you just, it was a lot, not enough. I would say today, my job being a cashier, I get paid two more dollars doing cashiering than I am being outside, which is a shame. You know, why is a cashier getting paid more than someone that's outside working their ass off? So, um... I would say pros about being a um, ramp agent, you do have downtime, so you, there's not planes all the time, so you can sit down sometimes. Um, what's another pro? A lot of moving, obviously, so you don't have to work out or be a member of the gym because you're always moving. Um, what's another pro? This job didn't even offer benefits, which was kind of like a turnoff to me. You know, I'm working with planes, but you can't even give me no plane benefits, so... Um, Another pro, there There has to be another pro. Another pro, another pro, another pro, another pro, another pro. Oh, you know, it was, some of the customers were nice when you gave them their bags, so you feel like you were actually doing something for somebody. But you know, like I said, and Dave, it was a lot of work that they wanted you to do for a little pay, a lot of pressure, managers are watching you. So just being a rep agent wasn't for me, so. That's mostly this video, you know, ramp agent, you know, gave you a little small description of what a ramp agent is. It wasn't for me. Probably is for somebody else who likes to lift, who 
likes to be active, who likes to be on a fast pace. They like to move, move, move. But if you're like, if that's not for you, you don't like to be a fast pace. You don't like, you know, lifting things. You don't like doing multiple things at once. Then the job ain't for you. Again, my Twitter name is M-A-R-Q-U-E-L-W-O-R-L-D. Thanks for watching.